Hi, I'm Kenny and welcome to my garage. Tonight we're going to talk about something um, fun, interesting, maybe, I don't know. You might not like it, I like it. So, this talk is about what you can do for others. It's the ultimate self-help system. You know, I go out to the bookstores and I see this self-help section. And um, I've read a lot of those books. I've listened to a lot of those books. And, well, I finally figured something out. And that's one simple thing. I am happiest when I'm doing something for someone else. Not when I'm doing something for me. I like technology. I like the phone that I'm actually recording this on right now. It was kind of cool. I got buyer's remorse about mm, 30 seconds before I bought it. It's pretty bad. Still got it anyway, but you know, what the hell. Um, tonight though, I brought home a video card from an old computer that I had at work that we were no longer using. It wasn't a great video card, but it was an okay video card. My son's gotten into gaming and, uh, he's using a a computer that he bought from one of his friends and that computer was pretty well stripped down. It's not a real great computer, but it was okay. He didn't pay much for it. It was all right. I thought it was a good lesson for him where he could just get something and uh, expand on it over time. And uh, we were looking at different video cards and it was like, well, you know, this one costs 80 bucks. This one costs 200 bucks. Um, yeah, this is all good. I talked to my computer guy and he said that 200 buck video card would be overkill for the computer he's using. The $80 one would be fine. And then I went to work and I found an old computer and uh, saw that it had a video card in it because we use dual screens on almost everything that we have in our shop. And so we have to add a video card to it. Now the card that was in there is it's not great, but it's an okay card. It's certainly better than the graphics and uh, the video that's offered on the computer that my son has, which were basically built into the motherboard. So um, I brought this thing home. It's probably worth about five dollars right now. So let's go ahead and install this. Fortunately, I tend to keep things and so I had the uh, I had the driver disc and it's like you know you can load the drivers put the card in and see how it works well he comes to me a little while later he's like wow this is great my game is running so much faster I'm happy I actually am very happy and consequently I'm happy because of that that's the kind of thing that made me happy. I was doing something for someone else. And uh, true joy in life doesn't come from taking, it comes from giving. You know, they, they talk about Christmas time and um, the spirit of giving and uh, I think now even at Christmas, people tend to fall away from that to a certain extent. They're just having a good time opening presents and saying, Oh my gosh, I got this really whatever cool whatever thingy and I'm happy about it. My best experience at Christmas is when my kids open things and they're like... That. Nothing, nothing makes me happier than that. 
So believe me, giving brings you much more joy than receiving or taking. Receiving is really just another way of saying, I'm taking something. Receiving just means that someone gave it to you voluntarily, but you're still taking. It's a lot more fun to give. My advice to you is to find a soup kitchen in your town. Run down there this weekend when you're not working, because I know you've got a job, you got a family and everything. Take a couple hours. Go down there and help serve food. You're going to get fulfillment like you've never gotten before. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. And I hope that something that I said helps you in some way.